Good morning, Monomoy. Today is October 12th, and it's a day five in our schedule. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. A message for all London travelers. We will hold our first organizational meeting for the trip on Tuesday, October 24th at 5.30 in classroom A139. During that meeting, we will discuss ex expectations for our travel, things you can be doing to prepare yourself now, and what we as a group would like for conveniences for parents and students throughout. If you are not able to attend, please let me know so I can get your input. Attention all those who live in Chatham or the Nauset region. The annual Lions Club speech contest is coming up soon on November 1st. Mrs. Doyle needs you to participate. You will win money. It's guaranteed. See her soon about the speech and contest details. Those of you in Harwich or Dennis who want to participate in the contest in those towns should also see Mrs. Doyle. She now has all the details about the Harwich Dennis contest. Thanks for the first round of votes. The final round is here. Check your email for the link. Please vote only for members of your own grade. Winners will be announced during halftime of the football game on Friday night. Happy voting. Please email or see Mrs. Coughlin with any questions. A message from Mr. Burkhead. A reminder to all students and staff that once students enter the building, they should take off hats and hoods. Hats and hoods are not to be worn in our building as a safety measure, and we appreciate your cooperation. It is important that students continue to respect this and teachers assist in enforcing this policy in their classrooms. Thank you. This month is National Principals Month, and we would like to honor our principal by reading one thing we admire about our principal, which is that he's always cheering in the stands at our games. Today for lunch is barbecue chicken whole wheat roll and sautéed zucchini. Here's the Jossum schedule for, the, for today. Remember, you need to be somewhere during Jossum. Now to a promo for bubble soccer and then to weather. Can you get down like this? Thanks, Ben. As you can see, there's clear skies for the next couple of days, but southern uh, west is definitely some participation that we'll see, precipitation that we will see later on in the week, and we have much clouds. For the extended forecast, we're going to have partial clouds for the day in the next couple of days, and we're gonna definitely going to have some showers and definitely clouds for the rest of the week until next week till we see sun. Thank you. Now to sports. Thanks, Cam. The football team had an insane victory against West Bridgewater, 23-14. BK, Eli Nickerson, and Riley DeManch all with touchdowns. As you can see, Ben Hall strips the ball from the West Bridgewater Wildcat as BK recumbers, recovers the fumble and returns it for a touchdown. Come support them as they take on Sacred Heart this Friday for the homecoming game. It's a whiteout. Boys soccer lost to SJP Tuesday, 4-3, while girls won 3-0. They both play Nantucket today at 4. Boys are away and girls are home. Cross Country also won Tuesday against SJP. Boys Golf took a tough loss against Sturgis West on Tuesday. Today is Shark Spirit Day. The lunch activity is a jello eating contest and after school is decorate sports signs. That's a wrap. Have a great day, Monomoy.